ago, I was uh, very lucky. I got to work on an episode of a, of a television show called Documentary Now. Um, and uh, is, is anyone familiar with um, this thing? Was a, is a documentary about uh, the making of the uh, company Cast Alpha. It's, it's, re it's really great. This I mean, company is one of my favorite musicals, and you get to see them making the cast album, and like Elaine Stritch has like a total meltdown. <laughs> it's, it's really it's really wonderful, uh, and it's, I mean you know I mean it's poor Elaine Stritch, I guess, but she did fine. She did fine. She had a wonderful career before and after. So you know you don't need to feel bad for Elaine Stritch. Um, and so the episode was uh, was written by someone I want to to bring up to introduce a song uh, from the episode. Uh, and uh, without further ado, I'd like to bring up Mr. John Mulaney. He played for two and a half hours of solid gold hits. He left out seven number one songs. He tried to write a musical, and you all fucking shot him out of the sky. Like, like goose. And, uh... So you remember my early voice memos to you. Yeah. Yeah, of me singing lyrics with my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Um, and so uh, we have a song to present here. Now, the, the, uh, we were both huge uh, Sondheim fans. Yeah. Um, Stephen Sondheim is the, uh, he's a, a composer and lyricist. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's weird, like, I don't, like, it's, he's my favorite, you know, which is we it's like boring to say, but it's yeah, true. Yeah. He's just extremely good. Yeah. But he's also <laughs> famous, you know, so it's like, who's your, what's your favorite food? Like steak, you know, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds dumb. But your, your knowledge actually runs surprisingly deep. Like, I was surprised to know, like, how much stuff you knew. Yes, but then you and, like, remember when I asked you, I was like, what's another musical from this era that, like, rules but, like, sucks? And... <laughs> oh, yeah. What was the... the, the they're Robert playing, Klein... They're playing our song. Yeah. Uh, he's like, you should check out They're Playing Our Song. So I'm driving, and I'm finding it on iTunes while I'm driving. And... I put on the first track and it's Robert Klein singing. He goes, "Working it out." Da, ba, 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 ba. Those are the lyrics. He's actually going, "Ba ba 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 ba." Um, and uh, I, I, we were intimidated to tackle Sondheim, and then I kind of played Sondheim in the episode. Right. I play Simon Sawyer, the composer of the musical that we're doing in this episode, which is called Co-op. Um, <laughs> And it's about a co-op building in New York in the 70s. Uh, I did a play with my friend Nick Kroll called Over the on Broadway. Right? Thanks. Special engagement. And it, uh, it was about a co-op in New York in the 70s. And I've really, really, it's embarrassing how much time I've spent thinking about apartment buildings in the 70s. And um, you wrote a, 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 a glorious a glorious song, um, and uh, I do want to, I, I must say, though, that uh, I wrote this episode, uh, w Eli doing the music, along with my co-writer, Seth Myers. Would you want to come up on stage, please? Story. You guys know this? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Steven Spielberg. I was doing. I was at a party where someone came up to Steven Sondheim, and I heard Steven Sondheim say this. Somebody came up to Steven Sondheim and said, "Steven, tell me everything you know about West Side Story." And Steven said, "Well, it's about two rival gangs." <laughs> I've watched a lot of interviews with Sondheim, and he always, like, he, I think he fucking tricked a generation of songwriters, because he's like, I write lying down with pencil, and I like to have a drink before I do, and it's like, he just told everyone, like, he made everyone fall asleep so that he would be the best for multiple days. Oh yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, to, to sing uh, a song that, that John and I wrote in the episode, uh, Mr. Richard Kine. <laughs> musical the documentary uh, which by the way in the uh, in the film all the reviewers thought it was called coop uh, on set I asked Richard I'm gonna make you do this I asked Richard have you ever broken on Broadway on stage and you said uh, you had multiple stories would you tell some of them you were going to tell them you want me to tell them no tell the stories Because I did work uh, with Sondheim uh, on a show. It's like, it was like my dream, you know, most kids didn't want to play center field for the Yankees or, you know, be an astronaut or a rock musician. And I lay in bed saying, I want to do an original Sondheim Prince musical. <laughs> Weird kid. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have the voice for it, and nor the talent, and yet it happened. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell the long story. It's sort of nice is that I was supposed to, that they did a, a musical called Bounce, and, and I was, and I was it. Yeah, never made it to Broadway, thank you. <laughs> the fuck over Paul Simon, look what you did to me. <laughs> so, so I'm supposed to have an audition, and then Hal Prince calls up my agent and says, I know Richard Kind, he's on a TV show with my son-in-law, Sandy Chaplin, and I know his talent and I love him, he's not right for the role. So, so, <laughs> so I get this call and my manager, unbeknownst to me, says, look, it's his dream, let him just go in and audition. <laughs> about Hermione Gingold auditioning for uh, Little Night Music. You know that story? This is fantastic. I'm sorry, because this isn't about me, so I'll still look. Uh, Hermione Gingold wants to go in and, and, and audition for Little Night Music. And he says, I know Hermione Gingold. She's not right for the role. Okay, so he said that years before he ever said that about me. Hermione Gingold shows up on the day of the audition and says, I want to audition for this part. So you know the part of Madame Armfeld, right? And she sings about her, her, all of her conquests, right? So, and Hal Prince has to let her go up. She showed up at the theater. Okay, go on up. And she sits down and she sings liaisons. And she does it great, of course, enough to get the role. But as the song ends, she starts to go to sleep and she has tied onto her thumb fishing wire that's attached to her hair and Hermione Gingold was gone. And she's singing about all these great loves of her life, and she nods to sleep and pulls off the wig. And this magnificent, great actress and lover 
is this old woman who's bald, and they gasp. So th I think that's an amazing story, and of course you got the role. They tried it out for a couple of performances, and it was just too shocking. <laughs> says, look, let him just try and, and do it. And uh, I did go in, and I, I, I ended up getting it. So that's the, that's the, okay, really, really quick. Um, if you saw, saw the show, the, 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 the second act began with uh, 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 three can can but three, three people are on stage, and one to show that they're in France is a can-can dance, and that one's in the middle. And that, okay, so that's number is over, and then a train comes on, a train, train scene. And uh, on one of the performances, that can-can dancer fell off the wire and landed on the stage. Now, a can-can dancer like this looks great, but when the back is all black and it's like this, it looks like a murder victim. <laughs> <laughs> and it's standing there, this train has run, and it's sticking out from under the train, and I just couldn't stop laughing. I mean, it was horrible. And then one time, Gavin Creel is sitting up on the, on the train, and my name is Addison Meisner, and, I, and I'm supposed to go, and he's, he's, uh, he doesn't want me to sit there, and he keeps jabbering, jabbering, and I, and I go, Addison Meisner, and that shuts him up, and I get to sit down. And uh, so one performance, uh, he's jabbering, jabbering, go, Rich Kind. Uh, <laughs> Addison, my eye was horrible. And I started laughing, and he sings this beautiful song about being a, a gay artist, which is from Sondheim's heart, and the whole time I'm just, just like, pouring <laughs> his heart out. That's it. Have I done it? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't need to set it up. I don't think so. Okay, I think yeah. I got it. 